What is up, Geeks of YouTube? I am Damien. I am Tracy. And welcome to our fantasy life. Today, we're bringing you our top five picks for Nintendo Switch releases coming out in June. So stick around. Let's uh, roll the new intro. Yeah. So this video, we have our top five Switch games that we think you're probably going to want to buy. We're getting closer and closer to doing these videos the month before, but we do these videos every month. So hey, we're in the first week. We're, good. <laughs> we're getting close. Yeah, we're getting close. Pretty soon we're going to be doing them the week before. But uh, for now, all of the games that we have to talk about this month actually do release either this week or beyond. So there's still some time to kind of get those pre-orders in if you need to. But if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notify bell. And stick around because we love hearing from you guys in the comments and we love that you guys are here checking out our videos. Um, the, the other thing is uh, we do our Geek Weeklies every week. So we talk about Nintendo and specifically Nintendo Switch news every week. So if you haven't seen one of those, we'll put a link. Just go ahead and click right here somewhere. <laughs> somewhere right around there bonk bonk no i'm sorry <laughs> and uh you can see one of our geek weekly videos we'll have a link to the playlist up there and everything so let's jump right into the games uh did you want to kick it off this week yeah sure nice. okay so the first game up this week is going to be called hue and i'm really interested in this one so it's very unique so it's brought to you by curve digital uh, Hugh is an award-winning puzzle platformer from Fiddlesticks and is being brought to Nintendo Switch by Curve Digital. Hugh won awards for its innovative, color-based gameplay, which completely changes how you interact with the environment. In Hugh, you explore a dangerous land of gray, seeking out colored fragments as you quest to find your missing mother. When an obstacle in the world matches the color of the background, it vanishes or appears creating an exciting new way to platform. Hue features 30 original music tracks composed specifically for the game, gorgeously rendered artwork, and a unique color blind mode that uses symbols instead of colors to make the game available to a much wider audience. Yeah, Hue looks awesome. I haven't played it, but I saw the videos online. I've seen some reviews of yeah. it. I've seen some gameplay footage. Um, now, Hue... This is the first one I think we're starting out with that isn't a Nintendo exclusive, a Switch right. exclusive. So Hue was originally released on, I think, Steam and PS4 back in, uh, what was that, back in June? No, uh, a couple of years ago, I think. I think so. Yeah. Uh, uh, I wanted to look that up, but I, I know that it's been released on other platforms and it got rave reviews. Now, um, the unique color matching mechanic was, I think, the thing that a lot of people really liked because it is sort of a traditional platformer. But when you introduce that color switching mechanic, it just changes the entire gameplay. It's really, really fun to watch. It's so visual. Yeah. Are, are you going to be picking this one up? Yes, nice. definitely. All right. So this is the one that came onto my radar first, and I shared it with you. Mm. And it looks very interesting. I love the aspect that it's something different that we haven't seen before. So it's very creative in that way. Yeah. Yeah, really, really cool. So that is Hue coming to the Nintendo Switch on June 6th. Next up, we have Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, a game that I'm really excited about. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is a gothic horror action side-scroller set in 18th century England. The game was originally brought to life by Koji Igarashi, who was the lead producer on the Castlevania series, starting with Castlevania Chronicles back in 1999. The Kickstarter campaign for Bloodstained raised over $5.5 million, proving that Metroidvania-style games are here to stay. You play as Miriam, an orphan scarred by an alchemist curse, which is slowly crystallizing her body. To save both herself and humanity, Miriam must fight through a demon-infested castle and defeat the summoner Gabel. Bloodstained lets you collect, craft, and unlock a vast array of weapons and equipment and gather loot to defeat the endless bosses of hell that await within the castle. Miriam can also wield spells and magical powers and equip special items to change her appearance and abilities. While the game is led by Miriam, Ritual of the Night will receive a second playable character shortly after launch. Anyone who has played Bloodstained Curse of the Moon will recognize this character, Zangetsu, the Demon Hunter, will be available as a free post-launch character and is voiced by David Hayter. Zangetsu uses magical talismans to set himself apart from Miriam's gameplay. Look for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night on Nintendo Switch, June 18th. 
Yeah, so the Kickstarter for it, we actually have it on pre-order. Yeah. But it's amazing that it smashed all the expectations. Yeah, it was, it's crazy. They they mm-hmm. um and and like there's this thing called Igavania mm-hmm. because Koji Igarashi who he just goes by Iga. Yeah. Um he was so influential on the Castlevania series that when he put out the Kickstarter, uh one of the things in the original video for uh, for him was saying like, "Oh, I'm going to resurrect this style of gameplay." Nice. Because I guess he was pitching Castlevania style games to all these different uh, publishers yeah. and people were saying ah oh, that genre is dead nobody likes platformers so he was sort of vindicated by how much interest there was in this game so yeah really really cool um, that's amazing I kind of wish I'd gotten in on the Kickstarter because it featured artwork from Yoshitaka Amano Aww. you could get yourself painted into the game like some of the paintings in the background are players cool. and stuff yeah so yeah really cool there but uh, yeah so that is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night we will definitely be having some gameplay videos on our channel of Bloodstained along with um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 coming up here pretty soon. So look for those in the future. Next up is one I'm really looking forward to. So it's kind of a crossover here. We have Cadence of Hyrule, Crypt of the Necrodancer, featuring The Legend of Zelda. That is the longest title ever. <laughs> that is a super <laughs> long title. That's the full title, title. yeah. <laughs> That's the full title. Uh, So this one is coming out on June 20th. So Cadence of Hyrule is a rhythm action game brought to Nintendo Switch by Brace Yourself Games, who developed Crypt of the Necrodancer. So Crypt of the Necrodancer was a breakout success when it was released back in 2015, but Cadence of Hyrule still caught players a bit by surprise when it was revealed back in March. The lovingly crafted sprite-based artwork looks absolutely gorgeous in the reveal trailers that we've seen so far, and the remixed versions of classic Legend of Zelda songs means you're probably going to want to play this one with headphones. Players can take on the role of Cadence, our hero from the original Crypt of the Necrodancer, or, for the first time, play as Link or Princess Zelda herself to fight through randomly generated stages. The game rewards performing attacks and movements to the rhythm of the music, and each enemy has a different beat. Only by mastering the movements can you outstep your enemies in rhythmic combat. Items from both the worlds of The Legend of Zelda and Crypt of the Necrodancer will aid you in your quest. Lastly, if you're picking up Cadence of Hyrule, grab a buddy. Cadence of Hyrule will support couch co-op for two players. You and a friend can enjoy 25 remixes of classic Legend of Zelda tunes while you save Hyrule from darkness. Cadence of Hyrule, Crypt of the Necrodancer, featuring the Legend of Zelda, drops June 20th and is another Nintendo Switch exclusive. That is the longest name of any Switch game I think I've ever covered. <laughs> was it longer than the racing one that we did last month? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> that I, was we'll a pretty to, long we'll title. Have count, count, we'll have to count the characters, yeah. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, that is the full name of it. Cadence of Hyrule, Crypt of the Necrodancer, featuring The Legend of Zelda. Wow. Yeah. Um, now, one cool thing about this game that I noticed is it, well, so it seems like Nintendo is branching out and lic- they're comfortable licensing out their properties again. Yeah. They stopped for a long time after yeah. the <laughs> Super Mario Brothers movie. I mean, yeah. we're talking decades. Um, but it seems like with, uh, you know, we picked up Mario plus Rabbids. Mm-hmm. That was a really cool game. With They partnered up with Ubisoft there. What I noticed about this is it seems like it's the first time they're trusting one of their kind of core three properties to an indie developer yeah yeah and it's as pretty cool yeah it seems real good. and, and mm-hmm. uh, so far the the um the feedback has been pretty overwhelmingly positive mm-hmm. yeah so next up we have super mario maker 2 super mario maker 2 is a game that likely needs no introduction following on the heels of the successful super mario maker players can become creators and live the dream of designing their very own super mario style game Promising to be even bigger than Super Mario Maker and releasing exclusively for the Nintendo Switch, Super Mario Maker 2 is already generating tons of buzz and getting players excited to see all of the possibilities. Nintendo promises that players can create, play, and share the Super Mario courses of your dreams. And so far, what we've seen seems to deliver on that promise. Super Mario Maker 2 features cooperative building via Joy-Cons, themes and core styles from across Mario's entire history, new switches, new outfits, and so much more. All this, the ability to play and share online, and a story mode featuring over 100 levels means Super Mario Maker 2 might live up to Nintendo's promise of limitless Mario fun. Super Mario Maker 2 launches June 28th exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. 
So we're actually excited for this. We played the first one when it was on the 3DS, and it got some use. Yeah, a little bit. Like, I played some of the games. I played some other people's levels. I didn't do as much creating as I thought I was going to. Yeah, me either. I went back, and I've played it more now that Super Mario Maker 2 was announced to Mm -hmm. kind of get familiar with it. And uh, it's fun. It's really fun. Yeah. I'm excited that you can use a stylus with it. Yes. That's yeah. really cool because yeah. I love the stylus on the 3DS. Now, the, I, I think I saw, and uh, maybe somebody can let me know in the comments if there's been any updates here, but it seems like the pre-order bonus for the European and Japanese markets mm-hmm. is a cool Mario Maker themed stylus. Yeah. I don't know if that's come to the US yet. I, I looked online. I looked on at GameStop. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it. As far as I've read, it's only overseas, which oh. is kind of disappointing. I mean, you can pick up any stylus and it'll work for it because it's just the regular like little rubber tipped yeah. stylus. But it's designed with cool Mario characters on the side, yeah. which I really want. And it's an exclusive, so obviously we want it. And you know people are going to be selling those things on eBay for yeah. like 100 bucks each. Yeah. I wonder if they'll sell it separately, though. I wonder. If it's I, I not hope part so. of the pre-order for yeah. us. I hope you can get it on like Nintendo.com or something I like that. So. so yeah. So that is Super Mario Maker 2. I know a lot of you guys out there are excited about Super Mario Maker 2. I don't know how much gameplay footage we're going to have of that one coming up here, but um, definitely going to be playing it. We might def- uh, share some of those levels with you guys out there and, and share yours with us as well. Yes. <laughs> so last but not least, we have Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire combines roguelike gameplay with deck building, two genres that I deeply love. Developed by Megacrit, Slay the Spire has gotten overwhelmingly positive reviews for its take on the roguelike genre, even becoming the number two selling game on Steam during its release week. Slay the Spire lets you select from three characters, the Ironclad, the Silent, or the Defect, and battle through the Spire using their cards and player abilities to overcome enemies. As you battle your way up the Spire, you gather new cards and adjust your deck. Unlike most other roguelikes, There's very little progress made after each run, and your character doesn't gain levels or get stronger. The fun is in learning the cards and gaining more and more skill with the various options as they become available. A full clear of the Spire can take as little as an hour, meaning replayability is high, and going for those perfect runs can be a fun challenge. Slay the Spire has gotten lots of positive press, and its pick-up-and-play style of gameplay should make it an awesome addition to any Switch library. Originally released on desktop and PlayStation 4, Slay the Spire comes to the Nintendo Switch on June 6th. So we kind of talked about this in the pre-show, but this is one that I think I'm a little more excited by than you are. Yeah. Um, Well, first of all, I just, I like roguelike games. Um, You love card games. I like card games and I like roguelike games. And I'm never really sure why I like roguelikes because... I also like games where you make a lot of clear progress mm. and roguelike games. You don't really tend to make a lot of clear progress. It's yeah. more, you just kind of go until you die and then you start over kind of thing. Right. But I loved uh, faster than light, which was kind of a roguelike space game. But yeah, I love roguelike games mm. and then you're right. I love card games, obviously playing magic, the gathering. Mm-hmm. I'm playing magic, the Gathering arena online right now. Yeah. We play DC deck builder a lot. So I do like the card. This is kind of like two great tastes that taste great together for me. You did like that one that we picked up Amarillo, right? Uh, Armello, Armello, Armello. Mm-hmm. Armello. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that one, one, yeah, that one was really good. But that was less a card game, more like kind of a tabletop game. No, I guess it was kind of a card it was a base. Card game. Yeah, it did have a little bit of card game, uh, yeah. card game to it. Yeah, Armello was good. Armello. I, I like board games. Yeah, but I like the power of digital with an analog board game, mm. especially for games that we play like Pathfinder. Or um, what was the other one? Tokaido. Yeah. We played a lot of where I like that the computer can kind of manage the little fiddliness of it. Yeah. And then you can just play the game kind mm-hmm. of the way it was meant to be played. So. so your favorite Kingdom Hearts was Chain of Memories? I liked Chain of Memories. I did not. <laughs> I liked that one. Was that the card one? Yeah. Yeah, I liked that one, I think. Yeah, really cool. Well, you can play that on our next playthrough. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) So those are the five Switch games we think you're probably going to want to buy this month. What was your favorite? Are you going to be picking up Super Mario Maker? Does that kind of eclipse everything else on the list? Let us know in the comments which of these five games you're going to be picking up first. So if you liked what you saw here, make sure to tag that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And hit that notify bell so that you know when great videos like this go live. And get at us in the comments. We love uh, seeing those little comments pop up throughout the day. That really keeps us excited for that (laughs) next video. So uh, until next time, I have been Damien. And Tracy. And this has been our fantasy life. We will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs>
<laughs> Click, Click right, right here. here. <laughs>